Hey guys, Rich, guys, Richard at Riding Room here again. So I've unboxed the GameCube, got it all plugged in. So this is the testing video of it, uh, video for me testing it. So I'm not gonna probably put all four games in that I've got right now, just the first one. And as I had this game in early 05, why not? So yes, yeah, Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. So first of all, I'm just gonna turn the console on. See, so it's all connected, uh, just to make sure it turns on properly. Then I'll put the game in. And I just realized there's no memory card in there. <laughs> Okay, this is just te clearly just testing it. Make sure it switches on properly. It's plugged in by a SCART. See how stretched it looks. It looked rough on my uh, 42 inch TV in 2018. It's uh, my legs. <laughs> there we go. Let's play in. See, hurts mode. Yes. Oh, God, I gotta miss this console. In 60 hertz mode now. Yep, because in your battle. Okay, it comes with dialogue. I did not know that. What is this? There's no disc in there. Is this some sort of. Oh, hang on. Did I put the disc in? Oh, <laughs> I did. Okay. Fair enough. This is a Sonic so I thought it was changed. I think there's any menu. Yeah, sure. Okay, now. Well. Very good. So, yeah, GameCube plugged in, fits nicely alongside the Xbox One, which will be replaced in about a month for the Xbox Series X. Skybox, Wii U, which isn't even plugged in because uh, it's barely getting any use at the moment. I really should return to it at some point. Maybe when I'm tired of the 360 games. And my wife, PS4, and the Wii sensor bar. Okay, no problem here. Video. Runs movie. Okay, very good. You know what? What the hell? That only took a couple minutes. Let's test the other games as well. I've also got to buy a manual for that. Right, let's do the thing I said I would do originally. Just test it without an actual disc in. As you can see, I've got, like I said in the last video, I can't switch camera perspective mid-video, though. Hello. <laughs> Excellent, that works fine. And what I liked about this, pretty sure the PS2 like, worked like this, and presumably the Xbox One, the real Xbox One, <laughs> yet as well. Just, <clears throat> you don't have to power the console off every time. Right, so go to my original GameCube game from 05. Like the original new GameCube game, rather. I don't think the exact same one, but yeah, Zelda Four Swords was the only one. <laughs> you know, if I've difficult to find new GameCube games. Let's see if this plays all right. Do I select game players? It automatically start. I think I do. Oh yeah, I do. <clears throat> Let's start to begin. God, I might have. Even when I was redoing all these cube games a few years ago, I didn't have this one. Wow, 60 hertz mode. God, none of people are so mad that with Tales Symphonia coming to new consoles, it's locked at 30 frames per second. You know, it is 1080p because, you know, from what I've heard, Tales Symphonia on the cube did 60, and I had the PS3 version was based on the PS3 version, that uh, PS2 version rather, which was 30 frames per second. But yeah, I think they. Well, like the definitive edition, but well, I've just finished Tales of Vesperia on Xbox 360. So, I'm not just in that one again. I've got sort of Tales of Fantasia on the GBA. Tales of... Oh, what's it called? <laughs> the one on the... On the D, D, no, one on the 3DS. And then Tales of Arise, I'm very tempted by. Okay, so that is Four Swords. Works fine. So let's... Let the disc stop spinning, naturally. It's probably the... Best thing to do. Yeah, and like the others, this isn't getting any editing or anything like that. I'm just simply putting the disc in so it's all like live. Okay, now for Star Fox. Now, this one, I probably need to, needed to test ASAP anyway because one of the other <clears throat> ones I bought, brand, uh, brand new, there <laughs> are oh, no brand new cube games. Well, I'm not sure I'm going to pay hundreds of pounds. Well, let's say 100 pounds, <laughs> stretch of it. Yeah, this is one of the more valuable ones. That and Zelda were not exactly £40 games, let's put it like that. 
Um, but hey, I've found these on good deals on eBay. I do love the offer system. You can sometimes snap up a really good deal. I was, Zelda actually, I managed to get for about 10, 15 quid cheaper than it was generally selling at. So, can't really argue there. Okay, now for Star Fox. So about these GameCube games, some of them, I remember in O2 looking at the Star Wars game and it looked absolutely beautiful. And yeah, obviously O2, that was all games age. Hell, look at Oblivion now. But some of these GameCube games still look pretty damn good. It's This is why it's a shame that Nintendo have never effectively... I mean, no one's going to expect to release a disc add-on for the Switch or anything like that. But not even allowing you to download GameCube games is just really bizarre because there's some amazing games. And this is why I've never understood about gaming full stop. Like... The Wii is a perfect example, you know, and it's the same with other ones. Ones that are, machines that are fully backwards compatible, when the games basically start console, console start running out of games, why don't they just simply re-release them? Like in the, like the last couple of years of the Wii, when there really was nothing coming out, why they didn't just simply re-release? I don't know, Mario Sunshine, Splash Brothers Melee, uh, Zelda Wind Waker, Star Fox, you know, uh, Zelda Four Swords. I mean, I can get they might want to was it cannibalized sales so that when Smash Brothers Brawl came out in there it is right here 2008 I can get that they wouldn't want to re-release the previous one but when there's effectively nothing yeah I don't get why they just reprint the games same with the PS1 and 2 you know, all these PS1 games they could have just reprinted just to simply sell consoles yeah yeah I'm oh I'm on to didn't read that right but yeah, it's a sad fact these cube games, they could have easily re-released them on the Wii days and... But yeah, if we're getting them as downloads, it's and it's not cheap to get them reprinted and put onto Switches, it's going to be difficult. Okay, that would be Star Fox. Yeah, why well, they wouldn't just re-release them, I'll never know. Okay, now onto the big one, the one that's by, by far the most valuable game. Oh, and just to point out, I actually did have Tales of Symphonia recently, you know, I played it on PS3 three years ago, but I sold it off because I was never going to go back to so it. I'm kind of just... Reborn and collection with the old favourites that I'll actually go back to because yeah, I love Tales Symphonia. Even if I didn't play it on the cube in the end, I'm a friend in. I played it on PS3. It's uh, <clears throat> yeah, it wasn't really one I'd go back to ever again. Right now, for the big one, paid my one that's worth three times what it cost new and even not even new 2004, but second end in 2018. Got about yeah, new. It's probably worth ten times. What it costs if you could ever find a new and sealed copy. For you know, 380 quid, it's probably pretty likely. But yeah, now this game I played on my 40 in, 42 inch TV and it looked a bit stretched, but the graphics are cartoony helped definitely. Can't imagine it fairly better on a TV that's over 50 inches, but hopefully there won't be any real difference. But yeah, once I get a retro TV, a good old CRTV for the Mega Drive, I think that spot there will go nice. Move my uh, tower of. Wii, Wii U, and uh, mostly my wife's 360 games. They can go upstairs, but yeah, that's part of the route. Should be good for the Cube and Mega Drive to go. And then two TVs next to each other. What's uh, my friend Adam used to do? Had two portable TVs in there. Uh, 2004. Right, so no problems at all. I mean, this game's just been put in my uncle's drawer for the last few years. But yeah. It can't be saved. God, it's so easy to forget how important memory cards were now that every console has it has save built into it, or in the case of get like Switch and DS, etc. Ah, quite bored. It's all on the card. Um <clears throat> on the cartridge rather. Cartridge game card. But yeah, that's but yeah, you need a memory card, hopefully mine is still is still work. I've still got my PS1 and PS2 memory cards upstairs as well, but maybe they'll get used again one day. But yeah, I mind seeing what's on there. But that is it, so yeah, thank you very much guys, it's been fun, GameCube works perfectly, but I'll uh, leave that good feedback on eBay, and yeah, once I get back to doing these videos more regularly, I think I'll start some gaming, I've got big plans for The Last of Us 1 vid, and uh, yeah, maybe I should look into Twitter, you know, Let's Plays, etc, hey, you know, and you know, on another Instagram user I chat to, she has Zelda ones where she's streamed her playing it, just airing it through Instagram, I believe. So I could always do something like that because, yeah, a game game is pretty popular, especially now with a lot of people, let's be honest, a lot of uh, younger gamers who have never played these games. So it could be fun. But yeah, that's it. Thanks for your time, and I'll see you next time.